Hi everybody, Wendy from Wendy Wood Coaching here and I'm here just to quickly demonstrate for you how you can edit the cover photo on your reel so that when it appears on your grid it's more in brand with your own branding rather than a still from the actual reel that you've recorded. So to do this you simply go, um, I'm going to use one of the ones I've already created, so I'm going to go to my reels library here and I'm going to go through to my drafts. So these are reels that I've already created and have popped into drafts ready for me to post when the time is right. And you can see already a couple of these, I've added different covers for them. Um, again, like I said, so it's more in branding so that the, the feed on your Instagram account is more cohesive and aligned with your branding and who you are, rather than, for example, just random shots that will be taken from your reel um, by Instagram and put as sort of the key image that they're representing that reel. So we're going to take this reel that I've done recorded before and haven't posted yet. At the minute it's just got a still shot of me with one of the captions but if you imagine that on your actual feed it's as I said it's just not going to be in keeping with the rest of your feed. So we're simply going to add a um, image to it that we've created in Canva. So you can go into Canva and you can create an image um, that is in line with your branding. Um, the measurements, when you go into Canva, you can create your design and you can put your own size dimensions into it. So the size dimensions you need to be creating are 1080 times 1920 pixels. So 1080 times 1080. 1920 pixels so you put that in it will bring out the exact right size image for you to then upload as the cover for your reel so the way we're going to do this is I'm going to click on this reel that I've previously done and it brings it to this point where you can see I've already put in the text that I want to share um, you can obviously we know things like we can click your area but what we want to do is edit this cover so I'm simply going to go up to here, click on cover, and it lets me either pick um, a range of stills um, by scrolling up and down here from the um, actual recording itself, or I can go to add from camera roll. So I go to add from camera roll and you can see here some of the ones that I've been creating. And in your camera roll, you can create folders where you keep all these different items. So I'm going to click on this one which is the one that I've created specifically for this reel. And then I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click done. Now, the other thing you want to do is always share your reel to your feed. So you can unclick this if you don't want to, but I would recommend you share it to your feed because the more eyes on your reel, the better. Um, but in doing that, you have a chance to just crop your profile image for your feed so as we see it here now, you can see it's longer. It's not quite the dimensions for your feed. It's the dimensions for a real cover. But if we want it to look good on our profile image as well, on our feed image, then we can go to this button here. We can click on there and you can see this is how, imagine this is your feed in your Instagram. That will how it will look at the minute. So I am just gonna put my finger on this image and just bring it down ever so slightly on all my real ones, I add in a little real image so that when somebody will be looking through my feed, they can see quite quickly what is a real and what's not. So I could move that about, I could do it up that way if I wanted my logo, but I don't. I just wanna bring it down so it sits nicely like that. And then I'm gonna go up to done, click done, and I'm gonna go back to save as draft because I'm not ready to share that yet. And you can now see it's changed and it's got this nice on-brand cover for the real draft. So I hope that helps. Don't forget to subscribe and come on over to the Facebook group if you've got any questions. Bye.